Hey everyone. So I had another idea for an entry on my scary stories from the Railway series video based around the story Edward's Exploit, and I ended up not including it. I don't remember if it was because I didn't think it was good enough to put in or if I just forgot. And looking at it, it's not really as scary as some of the other entries I had, but it's still a dramatic one nonetheless. I decided to include it now as a bonus video. I hope you enjoy it. Despite being the first character created for the series and having a book in his name, Edward the Blue Engine hasn't had very many starring roles in the Railway series. I believe this is mainly because of the character himself. In terms of personality, Edward is a relatively flat character. His only notable traits are his kindness, his age, and his wisdom, so he doesn't have a lot of story potential compared with some of the other engines. There are a few other characters like that. However, the stories that feature Edward in the lead role are often some of the best ones the Railway series had to offer. One of the most epic of Edward's escapades is in the story Edward's Exploit, the last story in the book Mainline Engines. This story begins with Edward taking some enthusiasts to the China Clay Works on his branch line. The big engines speak negatively about him when they see him struggling to pull the train. Did you see him straining? asked Henry. Positively painful, remarked James. Just pathetic, grunted Gordon. He should give up and be preserved before it's too late. Duck and Boko defend Edward, saying that he isn't as pathetic as they think he is. Edward's old, but he'll surprise us all. The enthusiasts enjoy being taken to the China Clay Works by Bill and Ben, the tank engine twins who work there. And the twins love being photographed. Although, after all of what Bill and Ben have done throughout this book, I think being fawned over by photographers is the last thing they deserve. When Edward takes the visitors home, things start to go wrong. A storm hits and Edward has trouble going on when his sanding gear fails. Even after his fireman rides up front to drop sand on the rails by hand, Edward's wheels continue to slip. Finally, a huge crack is heard and Edward's side is badly gouged by his side rod. I don't know if this would feel like being stabbed for a steam engine or getting a hernia, but either way, clear pain is on Edward's face after his crank pin breaks. His crew repairs the damage and takes his side rods off, but even after backing down to a level piece of line, Edward still has trouble pulling the heavy train. His driver, fireman, and the conductor loosen the couplings between each of the coaches on the train to make it easier for Edward to pull it. Slowly but surely, Edward begins to move and his passengers are thrilled as the train makes its way ahead. Finally, Edward makes it to the station where Henry and the Fat Controller are waiting. The Fat Controller is angry about them being late, but all the passengers cheer and give thanks to Edward and his crew for their perseverance before being taken away by Henry's train. So, Edward comes out of this story a hero. Despite that terrifying gash he got, he managed to do what he was tasked with and make everyone happy. This wasn't a unique story in the Railway series. In fact, the title story of the book Gallant Old Engine had the character Reneus appear in a similar situation. Edward's exploit was admittedly more graphic. In Gallant Old Engine, Reneus' valve gear got jammed on one side. Seeing an engine complete a journey after having sustained that kind of damage, I have to give Edward props. The TV series adaptation toned this story down a bit, I think mainly because of the models they were using at the time. There were accidents in the show that resulted in some twisted front ends, but I'm pretty sure they couldn't damage the models to this extent. So Edward goes to the shed and the other engines respectfully let him rest. All in a day's work for good old Edward. <laughs>